Today, I'm going to be talking about sciatica and my own personal experience with it. So I have had sciatica five times in my life. The first time was 2006, second time 2014, and three times last year, twice in March, and most recently, um, two days after Stevens's day. So a nice little Christmas present from the gods. So um, I'll just explain briefly what sciatica is. It is the medical term used to describe uh, when the sciatic nerve becomes compressed or irritated by something. In most cases, it is as a result of a herniated disc that has slipped out of place in the lumbar spine or the lower spine, as it's also known as, and has uh, compressed the sciatic nerve, um, kind of pressing in like this, or pinching. And so these, the sciatic nerve, it's the longest nerve in the human body. It's about 15 to 20 inches long. It's roughly the same width as your thumb. It originates in the lumbar spine and travels down the buttocks, the thighs and the legs. So in my case, I was given a diagnosis of sciatica after an MRI that I got in March after my second bout last year. And my MRI revealed that I had desiccated or in other words, dried out um, disc bulges at the L1 and L5 regions in the lumbar spine. So they had, they were herniated and bulging out and they were pressing against my sciatic nerve. I also had a minor indentation on the anterior thecal sac at the L5 region. And that's basically a protective membrane around that disc. So based on that MRI, like I said, I got my diagnosis and that's what caused sciatica in my case. And the pain, um, it was radiating in the lower back, which is, I mean, by definition, that's where the pain originates because that's where the nerve is. But a lot of people I've, I've heard have described the pain traveling down the buttocks and the thighs and legs and even to the feet causing numbness tingling sensations uh, for me it was in the lower back and that's a 99.9 percent .9 of the time anyway that's where it was radiating so the pain of sciatica is pretty intense uh pretty distressing um my primitive brain went into full on defense mode. Um, it was sending messages like, you're gonna die, you know, this is the end. So I had to fight the primitive part of my brain. Not very nice. Um, for those of you who haven't experienced sciatica, um, it's hard to put into words unless you experience the pain. All I can say is it's really, really bad. I think the best analogy I can think of is someone um, with a red hot garden spade violently thrusting it into your lower spine. That's the best analogy I can have. So um, it doesn't sound very nice, uh, but I think this pain of sciatica is worse than the analogy I gave. So most recently, my third case, just after Christmas, I uh, was brought to A&E in &E an ambulance, given a, a checkup, um, and I gave them my MRI results. So I was prescribed two medications, uh, a medication for neuropathic pain or nerve pain and a painkiller slash anti-inflammatory. So in that order, pregabalin and Bimovo. 
both very, very strong drugs. Um, they made me feel very, very drowsy. However, that particular combination did provide a little, a little bit of relief. But um, my path of recovery um, is based not solely on medication, but on movement as well and flexibility. Even at my worst phase, um, when I was bedridden, I had to start moving around. I did think that staying in bed was the best thing because that's what my brain was telling me to do. You need to rest, you need to sleep this off, but it was just making things worse because the muscle was locking up because I was immobile. So I just started moving around, even though it was incredibly difficult and I needed crutches to get around. And um, without warning, I would just get that garden spade jabbed in my lumbar spine out of nowhere. But the more I moved, uh, the more it sped up my recovery. So back in March, I stayed in bed a lot and it took about two, three weeks to be fully mobile again. Um, after Christmas, it was only about a week, a week and a half before I could you know, walk down the end of the road and back again. So in terms of uh, prevention, uh, I'm taking steps every day to make sure this doesn't happen again because it really, it's just like uh, pressing pause on, on your life. In my experience, it is. So uh, there's a few things. Uh, posture. I, I, uh, I do a lot of writing, so I purchased a memory foam cushion for the lumbar spine. And you, you can buy one of these for like 20 quid, you know. Uh, I'm actually using that now uh, as I'm recording this and it just makes sh sure that my alignment is is um, the way it should be. Uh, posture as well when I'm out walking around to make sure my shoulders are you know straight and my head is up. Um, I think I did have a habit of kind of slouching and you know doing the kind of Quasimodo thing but you know I don't think my spine is designed for sledging. So another um, great thing I found is hydrotherapy, which is basically cardio in a heated pool. I've only had one session and I've already found an incredible difference. And the water makes uh, the exercises a lot easier. I'm a lot more flexible. I'm able to do stretches in the water that I can't really do um, outside of the water. I'm still a bit uh, immobile in certain ways, like I um, wouldn't be able to touch my toes or anything like that yet, but I can in the hydro pool. Uh, physiotherapy is good as well. I had one session last week. Um, well, I'm not gonna go into physiotherapy, that's a whole other video, but anyway, um, after that session, the pain kind of moved up here to the, um, back on my shoulder, it, it felt like the sciatic nerve had moved. Uh, that's not the case. That's anatomically incorrect, I think, but that's what it felt like. And the pain just kind of stayed there and stuck there. So that's my experience uh, about sciatica. Um, please do read the medical disclaimer in the description. Um, I'm not a doctor. This is just my experience. Um, you know, I, I can't give you medical advice. Um, that's what the medical professionals are um, doing their jobs for. So they're the people to ask about that. So if you liked the video, please do give a thumbs up. If you would like to drop a comment about anything discussed in the video, do drop a comment and I will respond. And if you like the channel, please do subscribe. I really appreciate it. The more people that subscribe, the more it tells me that you like this mug and you like this content. So that's enough waffling. Um, so just to recap, sciatica is the term used to describe compression on the sciatic nerve. 
Um, I got a diagnosis after an MRI, which showed two herniated discs in the lumbar region, compressing my sciatic nerve. I was prescribed medication for neuropathic pain and also a standard painkiller and anti-inflammatory and my preventative measures to ensure this doesn't happen again because I think sciatica it's a case of not if it happens again it's when so posture lumbar support cushion um, ensuring I'm upright when I'm walking and even standing around, making sure that I'm not slouching or, like I said, doing the Quasimodo thing. <laughs> and hydrotherapy. Brilliant. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to advocate hydrotherapy. Like I said, one session and I've already found a difference. All right, that's enough. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was an eye opener. Remember, I'm not a doctor. Um, I was just talking about my own personal experience with sciatica. Okay, see you later.